All right, guys, hey, we're back now. We just got done explaining what all these parts are. So now what I want you to do is I want you to kind of make some room. So if you can, and, and be very careful here, try to keep a watchful eye on this. Um, we want to make sure that the screws, and if you if you look at your, one of your motors here, right, if you look at the bottom of this motor, all these little silver bars that you see, those are magnets. So if these hit the screws, they're going to end up picking up all these uh, screws up, right? And they'll pick up any other metal. So if you get something really small in there, you could actually damage the motor and it won't work anymore. So let's do me a favor and just make sure that we get... Let's go ahead and put the fasteners, just kind of finger tighten them onto there. You don't have to crank them down. Let's start putting things together so we can get them out of the way. So we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and we're going to put these fasteners on. And then we're going to set these aside. We're definitely going to make sure that they go out of the way of the um, screws that are right here. Okay. Uh, we can go ahead and take our camera and our standoffs for the camera and we can set those aside too. We're not going to be using that right now. So put those off the table. Uh, and let's see what else can we do. Um, let's go ahead and take our... Um, Let's go ahead and take our fasteners here, the little nylon ones, put them on the 20 millimeter um, M2 screws here and set those aside. And the reason we're gonna put them on is they're very easy to lose. I mean, they'll just roll all over the place. So let's just be careful and not to lose those. All right, so there we go. We'll just set those aside too. Keep track of those, don't put them near the screws. All right, uh, we've got our VTX. We're gonna go ahead and you should have actually, one thing I failed to mention, you should have the antenna with it. We're gonna go ahead and take the VTX and the antenna and we're gonna set those aside also. Let's take our um, screws here. Now I'm gonna use a magnet to pick them up. So I'm gonna take all these screws and all these right here. These are my M2s. And there's a combination there between the ones that mount the camera and the ones that, um, and the ones that we're using to mount the motors. I'm just gonna put them in one of these plastic bags. If you have something to put them in, just get them out of the way and try not to lose them there. Just like I just dropped mine. Try not to let that happen because they also will roll out of the way. All right. And we're gonna get down to what we need to do to start building. And we can actually take our spacers here these little rubber ones and throw them in that bag too and that's done okay what we do want to leave on the table to work with is we can leave our, our our board here we can set that aside as well for now and basically what we're going to start is we're going to start with frame assembly so let's go ahead and lay this out here we go all right and we're going to leave our screws here because we're going to need those and you're also going to need uh your uh screwdriver right here okay your hex your hex driver actually all right so with this in mind, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is let's define, let's, let's be able to define and, and, and um, select what our bottom plate is, right? So we need to know our bottom plate, our top plate, and the mid plate. The bottom plate here is going to be the plate with the X on it, and the mid plate is going to be the plate with the X on it. And the way this works is right here inside your mid plate, you have these uh, press fasteners right here. So what, what these are for is this basically allows you to tighten into the plate without having to put another piece on top like a standoff, okay? So if you lay this out properly, it should sit right on top of the bottom plate just like that. So those two X's should line up without anything in the way. That's how you know you have your bottom and your mid. Your top plate usually will have this hole here and that hole is to put the antenna through, for example, just like this. So when we're done, you should have your VTX antenna, your video transmitter antenna sitting out like this. You can also see all these slots right here. That's for zip ties. So let's say we wanted to attach something to it. We would take a zip tie and that allows us to send a zip tie down and back up and fasten whatever component we want. Okay. So those are what those are for. That's how you can tell that this is your top plate. All right. So that's your top plate. It'll sit like that. The next thing we need to do is get our, the arms ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our bottom plate. All right. You can set everything else aside. Take our bottom plate here with the X on it and take one of the arms. Now all the arms here are identical. Meaning if you stack them on, and that's not how it is for every drone, but it happens to be that this case, this drone, all the arms are identical, which means you can interchange these arms with each other. If you break one, you have an extra one, it doesn't matter. It's not a left or right or front or back version. They're all the same. So you can line them up. You see they're all exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which one you take. Just grab one and put it on the frame. And remember that we're trying to make an X here, okay? So ideally what we want is we want an arm that's going this way and an arm that's going the same on this side that would look very similar to this kind of like a straight line X, okay? If you put it the other way, if you flip it the other direction, this arm is gonna go straight forward and it's not gonna work as a drone. It's actually gonna hit the other arm and they won't be able to fly. So take your arm, fit it just like this, okay? With this cutout here, this large cutout at the bottom going around that big hole right there. All right, now, what we're gonna look at here is we have a pressed, fix, uh, a pressed fastener right here and then we have an open hole right here. The press fastener is going to be the one where the screw tightens automatically and we don't put anything on top. And for that one, you're going to grab your eight millimeter screws. Remember, these are the middle size. You have small, medium, and large. These are going to be the medium. So go ahead and take the medium screw and put it into the bottom hole right here of the arm. So basically what you're going to do is you have two holes right here you're going to use. 
go to the second one just like that and then put the arm just like that okay once you do that you can already start fastening this one down by taking your mid plate putting it right over that just like that line up the x's and just tighten it down but don't go too tough on it just tighten it down a little bit so the arm's not falling out okay there you go just like that all right now the arm's still going to be able to move and we'll put the second screw in for that one in just a minute but what we want to do first is let's go ahead and make sure we've got it right once you line this up you should be able to see through this the top hole right here go ahead and take the 10 mil or the larger screw put it through that section right there just like that and then grab one of your 30 millimeter standoffs and just finger tighten that on there as well okay just like that that's all you got to do we're going to repeat the process for the rest of the drone so remember now put the arms on exactly the same okay grab the medium screw put that through the second hole right there and if it doesn't line up just kind of wiggle it around a little bit that's why you don't want to tighten too much because you want to be able to move the parts go ahead and tighten that down again just like that very lightly though nothing crazy uh, take the large screw again send that through that first hole right there and again if you have any trouble getting there you go just wiggle the arm a little bit should go through perfect okay and then we're going to do uh, the next arm here just like that let me put the screwdriver right there so let's grab the next arm all right and then take another medium screw go through there and tighten that one down just a little bit again we're not tightening these down too much because Sometimes if they tighten and they're off just a millimeter, you won't be able to put the screw through. So you went like that, kind of wiggle that through there. There you go. And then put your standoff. All right, and then we're gonna do the last one. Just like that. Put your middle screw. Okay, then get the long screw, the large one, and we'll go that so that goes in. There you go, just like that. All right, now again, now we're done with this portion, but we're still not gonna tighten this down too much, okay? Just leave it, and you if you wiggle it, you're gonna see it's gonna be a little loose, but that's fine. We're, right now, we wanna just basically get ready to go to step number two, which is gonna be to get our flight controller, which is this right here. So get ready for this one, and we're gonna get that next. So we're gonna stop the video here, guys. Make sure everything looks like that. If one of the arms is going straight, you just have it reversed. Just flip it over and put it back in, and we're not putting the top plate on right now. We'll see you in just a minute.